In Fusion 360, we can define flowing curves with the spline tool, but we want to be able to fully define our splines. If you look at these two sketches, the bottom rectangles are defined because they are in black, but the splines are not defined. They are in blue. How do we fully define our splines? Before we even try to define our splines, we want to make sure our splines are constructed properly. If you look at these two splines, they seem pretty similar, but they are very different. This spline has one, two, three control points. This spline only has two control points, yet has basically the same contour. Wherever possible, you want to use as few control points as possible when defining your splines. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this spline, and then we'll define the one with fewer control points. In order to define a spline, you need to define the length of its control arm, its control point in space, as well as the angle of the arm. So first, let's define the length of these control arms. You can get the dimension tool, click on the arm, and simply pull out a distance. You can use the distance that it's at, or you can round your distances. Let's define this one too. I'm gonna to go ahead and round that to 73. Now we need to define the angles. So you can click on the arm, then on some other line in your sketch. And then we can call this 133. We can do the same thing with this one and say 163. Now suddenly it snaps to black. And if I look over in my sketch, I have a padlock. We could have done the same thing with the other spline, but then we would have to define this point in space and it wouldn't be as smooth of a curve. So if you need a point in the top for your particular curve, go ahead and put it in. But if you don't need that control point, it's best not to have it. So remember, define the length of the handle, the angle of the handle, and where the spline point is in space, and you will have fully defined sketches with splines.